video will show you the paste modes in the Lightorama Sequence Editor, which control the way that copying and pasting behaves. Uh, so here we have a sequence with some events, and let's copy them. So select the area, right-click, and copy. And now we can paste. But what would happen if we were using a different timing grid? For example, these timings are a tenth of a second apart a piece. How about if we used timings that are a half a second apart a piece? Let's right-click here and then paste. And you'll see it pasted a much larger area. In fact, it's five times as long. The reason that it did that is let's go back and look at what we copied. We copied this area here, which was seven cells long. The first three cells have on events here. Then the next column has a set event, a set intensity event. And the next three columns are fade, fading down on these two channels. And for each cell, it pasted the contents of one cell into one cell in this grid that we pasted to. So again, there are three columns that make up an on event, one column of a set intensity, and three columns fade down. If we had used a smaller grid, for example, a 20th of a second, or 0 0.05 seconds, and we paste, then again, it does it into three cells for the on, one cell for the set intensity, and three cells for the fade down. And that makes this whole thing half as long as what we copied, because the cells are half as long as the cells we copied them from. Let's go back to a tenth of a second. Now, the reason why this, this happened, why it stretched out in this case and it compressed down in this case, was because we used this paste by cell mode in the clipboard section over here. And there are other paste modes uh, that you can use, and they'll make things behave in a different way. So, for example, if we select paste by time, well, we can click here and paste, and it'll paste the same thing that we copied. And that's the same way it did for paste by cell, too, when we were using this tenth of a second grid. But if we sele select a different grid now and paste here, Again, it will paste for the exact same amount of time that was copied, when, whereas in paste by cell, it pasted to this larger time. It'll now paste the same amount of time as from the copied events. And if we go to a smaller grid, it pastes the same amount of time as was copied, whereas with paste by cell, it pasted into a smaller amount of time. Let's scroll over here to have a little more empty area to work in. There are two others, uh, two other paste modes, stretch to fit and repeat to fit. Let's check out stretch to fit. For paste by cell and paste by time, what I did was I right clicked on a single cell and then pasted. For stretch to fit and also repeat to fit, I'm instead going to select an area in time and then paste. And for stretch to fit, that causes it to stretch the events out so that they fit perfectly into this time area that I selected. If I stretched, if I selected an even larger area, it would stretch them even further, again, so that they fit perfectly. One copy of it fits perfectly into this selected time range. If I selected a very short area and pasted, then it compresses them. So this stretch is really stretch if you have to, or compress if you have to. If you make it, if you specify a smaller area to, to paste into, then it will compress the events to fit in there. If you specify a larger area than you copied from, it will stretch the events. Now let's scroll out here to use repeat to fit. Repeat to fit will, um, well, let's check it out. If I select this area and paste, it repeats what has been copied over and over to fit into this area. However many times it takes to fit into this time range, it will paste it that many times. So if I do it for some shorter amount of time, it repeats it less. If I do it for a longer amount of time, oops, it repeats it more. And you'll notice that uh, in all of these, it has cut off the end of it. In other words, for example, here, you don't see the fade down complete. And that's because 
uh, it won't fit completely here. It, I, it only goes as far as you specify, as far as you tell it to go, using repeat to fit. So let's scroll out here and do one more uh, example of each of these, just as a summary. So first, paste by cell. It'll paste one cell goes to one cell, even if those cells are bigger or smaller or whatever. So as the grid gets larger, what's pasted gets larger. Paste by time ignores the timings and instead just pastes for the same amount of time that we copied. Stretch to fit puts one copy in the area that you select and makes it stretched or compressed so that it fits perfectly in that area. Repeat to fit repeats it however many times it'll take to fit into the area that you select. So I think that's it for the paste modes, paste by cell, paste by time, stretch to fit, and repeat to fit. I hope this helps.